All right, all right. Let's talk about Vault Soda, Coca-Cola's short-term answer to Mountain Dew. Now, I know most of you are probably like, what is this? And some of you are like, yeah, I think I remember this. And the rest of you, yeah, I know who the rest of you are watching. The die-hard Vault stands who will do anything to bring it back. And I am not joking here. Vault Soda has somehow amassed this cult following that I didn't even find out about until wanting to research about it. These people have dug up a hidden vault commercial from the deep web guys, like they are not playing around here. But with all that said, let's look at a brief history of Vault Soda. Vault Soda was invented in June of 2005 by the Coca-Cola company in an attempt to bring in young customers and Mountain Dew customers, and seeing how Mel Yellow wasn't doing so hot at the time, the drink marketed itself similar to that of a hybrid car, or as you guys might know it, the Hannah Montana effect. The best of both worlds. They claim Vault Soda drinks like a soda, but kicks like an energy drink. Which is funny, because Vault was created as a competitor for Mountain Dew, but then Mountain Dew literally used this idea later to make Kickstart, so that's kind of funny. But Vault was coming in hot baby with slogans like, get it done and then some, the taste, the quench, the kick, and chug and charge. Sadly, between June 2005 and February 2006, only the Midwest and Southern states got this awesome blast from the past. But during that 2006 Super Bowl, when the Steelers were kicking the Seahawks ass, we got a commercial. A vault soda commercial. Good one. All right. Mitch must be proud of his boy. How do you feel about yours, Bill? If you want him to throw 50 yards, well, give him 50 yards! He's the fruit of your loins, Bill! Your firstborn son! Don't let him be the team mascot! You've got to clear the path to greatness. Don't let anything get in his way. Do you want your son's only glory to be belching the alphabet? No! You want to point proudly from the 50-yard line and say, That's my boy! Drinks like a soda, kicks like an energy drink. Vault, get to it! And now that shit was everywhere. And little six-year-old me even remembers this shit popping off, man. My mom worked at a convenience store at the time, and they were giving her Vault t-shirts. I was seeing Vault on TV. My cool older cousins were drinking it when they had cotton mouth. It seemed to be everywhere. And I'm not gonna lie, I will always be a Mountain Dew stand. This was not better than Mountain Dew, and honestly, from what I remember, it wasn't all that similar. Like, they marketed it as green in this kick-ass drink for dudes to love. Mountain Dew just has this essence and taste you just can't recreate. And from what I remember, it was more on the lines of Mellow and Fresca other coke products but I did have a vault soda phase myself so with this popularity and coke distributing monster energy why did it fail well it didn't get off to a good start that's for sure and the same year it was nationally launched vault zero along with Fanta pineapple came under a lawsuit that the ingredients in them can make benzene a carcinogenic and for those of you that don't know what that means don't worry I didn't either it means it can cause cancer and in the mid 2000s everything was causing cancer plastic microwaves ramen noodles everything so that did not bode well although it did not stop them from creating a grape and peach flavor unveiled in the freestyle machines which i had no idea were around back then exactly a year after its national launch they unveiled vault red blitz a direct competition of mountain dew code red coke Cola had already launched another code red competitor with mellow yellow cherry which is still around today but as you can tell vault was directly a mountain dew knockoff Coke had no problem telling you this either, because remember that commercial I talked about earlier, Vault Stands and Cover from the Deep Web? Well that commercial was totally dissing Mountain Dew, directly name dropping, and everything. Here's some of it right now. For eons, Mountain Dew has roamed the earth. Wild, reckless, and for the most part, unchallenged. Immune to disruptions in the delicate ecosystem of the citrus soda market. A categorical behemoth best summed up with the words, Where did? There was a time when they were the only game in town. But times change. And recently, so did the game. So other than the grape and peach variety, what did Volt really offer? Well, it had about 1.5 times the amount of caffeine as Surgeon Mountain Dew. And that's it. There was never any more flavors added, they stopped making new advertising campaigns for it, and the sales, well, did this sadly plummeted. Maybe because of the early launch and so many diehard Mel Yellow Sanchez store in the country, it seemed to only be doing well really in the south. Vault was not only competing with Pepsi's Mountain Dew, it was literally competing with Mel Yellow fans and Surge, two Coca-Cola products. And eventually in that sad December of 2011, 
Nobody got a vault in their stockings, and nobody would ever see it again when they all eventually ran out of sores or expired. Looking back at all this, I think it was obvious Vault wasn't going to succeed for two main reasons. One, Mountain Dew will always hold that citrus market. Other than Mountain Dew, what's the first citrus soda you think of? Sprite probably, right? A Coke product. Nothing at all in the same lane as Mountain Dew. And it was just a different time. 2006-2011 was filled with MTV shows like Rob DX Fantasy Factory, Tosh.0. Skateboarding was at its peak since the early 90s. Monster, Amp, Red Bull, Rockstar are all giving little boys rad drinks. And Coke being a well established company saw this. They knew that this was just a phase and that's why they only had pushed it out then. They actually, when you think about it, are incredibly smart. I'm sure they capitalized off all of this during those years and when it all started to die down and people realized they just rather have mellow yellow coke was like don't worry man i got you guys back but those are just my thoughts and if you want vault soda back there is quite obviously a petition that i will link in the description thank you all for watching